Hello everyone and welcome back to Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. I'm really sorry for this cliffhanger, but it had to be done. Man, maybe I just wanted to hear this music for a little bit longer. True fact, I'm just recording this right after the fact, so it's totally fine for me. Not so much for you. However, I think now we're gonna get into it. This, this man's, as hot as he is, is really trying to push my buttons. He's distracting me with his beauty, but he's also trying to push me into saying that it was an accident, but still incriminating Trucy for it. I don't think so, sir, because she's still gonna be on the hook. I don't think this was an accident at all. I think someone killed him and framed Trucy. So I guess to answer that, I would have to say murder. So that's what I'm gonna say. The defense maintains that the defendant is entirely innocent. We believe that it wasn't an accident, but a murder. And what's more, we believe it was committed by a third party. A third party? As in, the true culprit is someone else? Yeah, that, yes, that's what that means. Rabble, 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 here we freaking go. Ugh, can you please stop being so handsome? This is completely unfair, like this is not even okay with me. That is quite a brazen claim to make, and one wholly without grounds. Your voice is as loud as your suit, and your mind echoes just as loudly in emptiness. Oh, he's disappointed in me. Oh, no! Surely you were but a loud red pepper in your previous life? Maybe. You want to eat me and find out? I've been demoted to a vegetable? I don't know, I, somehow I think that being a hot pepper is better than being a stink bug. Wow, I didn't know a person could be reincarnated as a non-sentient plant. Listen, you could be anything. It's up to the stars. In any case, I do have grounds to make this claim. Let us hear this reasoning of yours, then. Oh, you'll hear it. I'm gonna give it to you. All right, but before I give it, there is one question that we need to address. Just one? If the victim was killed by some third party, then the sword the defendant thrust into the coffin wasn't the cause of death. If that's the case, then how did we wind up with a dead body inside the coffin? That's true, though. A very good question. Now let's hear your opinion, Mr. Justice. How did the victim's body wind up inside the coffin? Let's think about what we know. If, if this is really happening and the game is pushing me this way, he was killed in the coffin. It was magic. We know it's not the middle one. Now listen, think about this. If he was killed under stage, now that makes me think they were just stating that the, the marker for him to come up on stage was in the wrong place. He was supposed to be in the small coffin, which means that maybe when he was put in the coffin, he was already gone? But can that actually be a thing? I wonder now. It, it, you know what? It's my, it might be possible. Apologist said he probably wasn't killed in the coffin, so I don't think that's the answer I have to have. And now I'm thinking that didn't happen. Because of the, also, because of where the wound was and the way he was facing due to the fingerprints, it would all line up with him being killed under stage. But we don't know how that happened yet. We don't know enough. What if the victim was killed under the stage before being put into the coffin? In other words, what if the victim was already dead in the coffin from the get-go? That is possible. But I wouldn't have thought of that. Oh, I see. In that case, the defendant's sword wouldn't have been the cause of death. How do you respond, Prosecutor said Madi? How do you respond, darling? I'd like to see more of you, even though you are a little bit rude. That is the third time. For what? Uh, the third time for what? But what's he doing? Yeah. What? Oh no! Wait, you can't, excuse me, you can't just do that! <laughs> what the hell? What the heck is this? Uh, okay, yes, I'll have ten. <sighs> oh no, what the? My head! Wait, you can't do that in court, that's like, dude! That's like assaulting me. What the hell? Man, Judge Judy would have had his ass rolled out of here, hot or not. What do you think you're doing? Even the merciful Holy Mother loses patience if she is struck three times. Since you never learn, you needed to be punished. Why don't you let me worry about what I need and don't need? 
It is what you deserve for interfering with my sacred last rites for the victim. You are a brainless lawyer chasing phantoms. You know nothing. And you are lucky that you are smoking hot. Let this humble servant of the Holy Mother give you an edifying sermon. A sermon? Now? Sirs, this is hardly the time. There is a passage in the sacred scriptures of Kurainism. A cornered frog will swallow even a snake. Um... Uh, is that a euphemism? Oh, okay, I get it. Huh? A cornered lawyer has unexpectedly struck back hard against the prosecution. Did I get it right? No, for I am not done with my sermon. And yet, the frog still dies, its belly bitten and torn from within. Just great. And in this case, you are that frog, defense. Man, I've been a lot of things so far. Um, what exactly is your point, anyway? Let us assume for a moment that the victim was killed under the stage. Who then had the opportunity to do so during the show? Let's see. People in the show were Bonnie DeFame, the victim Mysterious, and Trucy Wright. Bonnie DeFame was on stage throughout the entire show, as easily confirmed by the footage from the show. Which leaves us with only one suspect, Trucy Wright. Was there any way for Bonnie to have done anything? We did see her a lot during the footage, didn't we? Barely ever left her, actually. What does that mean? Could someone else have been under stage? What about our DJ? Like, we don't know. Now do you see? Oh, shit, boy, what those hands do? The accused killed Mysterious as he waited on standby in the understage passage, and then placed his dead body in the coffin above, thus making the murder look like an accident. No! Oh man, listen, I, I, I am enjoying looking at you, but you really got something, <laughs> you really got some explaining to do. Oh great and merciful Holy Mother, thus another putrid mind has been guided toward enlightenment. Ugh, I can't believe I swallowed this trick question. <laughs> oh well, well I'll be looking forward to that screenshot, I'll tell you what. Oh, the courtroom will be looking forward to it as well. Okay. What are you gonna do? Who's that? Hello? Oh, girl, yes, it was you. I thought so. I'm like, <laughs> Athena just screaming out in the middle of nothing. That's what she do. Sorry, but I have to raise an objection here. Athena? What are you? There's something I want to point out, Apollo. And who might you be? You strike me as a mere child in countenance. I may be young, but I have an attorney's badge just the same. And you would contribute to this discussion in that capacity? I most certainly would. What's what you gonna do? Oh shit! Break out, break out the technology, girl. You just argued that the defendant killed the victim under the stage. But let me remind you that Miss Wright is a girl. Clearly. Surely you didn't raise an objection simply to point out such an obvious fact? Your Honor, please send for this little child's guardian to come take her home. Oh, shit. Hang on. That reminds me. I don't think I looked at it. What? Sir! I mean, you're just a baby yourself. Well, I guess everyone's a baby to me. I mean, even Emma's older than him. <laughs> 25! Get the hell out of here! She's only 19? It's not that far removed. Oh. Every time, every time I look at those damn profile ages, I just turn to dust. But I'm not done with my sermon. You don't need to talk like Prosecutor Sadmati, you know. Listen, if the victim was killed in the understage passage, then his body would have then been hauled to up to the stage, right? However, Miss Wright is a young girl and a pretty petite one at that. 
He couldn't possibly have hefted that large body and put it up in the coffin. That is true. It does seem like it would be a rather difficult task for the defendant. I don't think even I could do it. What do you think of that, prosecutor? Who's the child now? In my religion, the priestesses of Quranism are revered as the pillars of our beliefs. So I naturally hold nothing but deep respect for women. I also think highly of the female perspective. Oh, this is the man who called this fair maiden a little child. Who's a fair maiden? She is? Listen. <laughs> I agree that your point is worth discussing, Defense. How, indeed, was the dead body raised up into the coffin? By the accused Trucy Wright, that is. You're committed to pointing the finger at her no matter what, huh? Then you explain how that even be possible. But of course. Oh, of course he already has something planned, doesn't he? Jeez, he's just one step ahead of everybody. There was a way for even a small creature like her to raise the victim's body up. Huh? Wait! You really can explain it? I foresaw that our arguments would come to this, so I prepared a witness. Who? Who could even be left other than Bonnie? Well, well, I admire your readiness, prosecutor. It is really not that difficult when one can read the ultimate outcome of any trial. He couldn't have really predicted that things would turn out like this, could he? It's pretty hard to believe. Excuse me, but may I step down now? Oh, uh, yes. I suppose you may. One moment, Detective Sky. Uh, um, I'm sorry for, you know, the way I handled all this. You did a fine job, Detective. Your testimony was invaluable. It, it was? Yes, you served well as a detective and did not allow your personal feelings to interfere. You overcame the conflicted emotions you felt and performed your duty admirably. You will be rewarded for your fine work. Oh, that's good at least. Oh, um, thank you. I hope we can work together again in the future. Emma seems bewildered by the unexpected praise. I know, I didn't think he was going to turn it around that quickly. I guess he's a pretty nice person, like they say, as long as you're not up against him. I'll, I would love to be up against... Wait, what? No, yes, I would. <laughs> no, then let's call the next witness. It's gotta be Bonnie, doesn't it? Who do we have other than RDJ? Which I'm gonna call him for the next foreseeable future, so you just better get used to it. Hey, girl! Oh, we get the full body shot and all. I'm, I'm in it. Hi. Witness, please state your name and occupation. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the court. It's very nice to meet all of you. I'm a lagomorphing illusionist from the land of fairy tales, Bonnie La Femme. Not La Femme, De Femme. I can't wait to do some magic tricks for all of you. Please witness, there is a time and a place for all things, including magic. Oh, but, but it would be okay if I do just a little magic, right? Come on, please. Look, everybody's waiting. Now's my chance to shine. Oh, he's trying to shut her up. That is your second time. My second time doing what? There will be no further warnings. You should know that from our preparatory meeting, right? <laughs> I almost read that as preparation. Our preparation H meeting. Yup. Is no one exempt from His Holiness's Rosary of Suffering? I guess not. It's like Francisco with the whip, right? Could be anybody. May we have your testimony witness once you've recovered from your disappointment? Well, as a huge fan of Trucy's, I don't really want to testify against her. But I guess I have to, don't I? And don't give me that crap, I overheard you. As a huge fan of Trucy's, huh? And yeah, we know that she's full of it. I like hate her, I loathe her, I can't stand that Trucy right. Just because she's a good at magic, she thinks she's all that. This is exactly what that sniveling brat deserves. Oh, yep. I remember very well. Sure, you're a real fan, all right. Of destroying Trucy, you mean. Yeah, but we can't say that now, can we? We have to keep it cool. Right, okay. 
The Understage Passage. Let's hear about this. I really can't believe that Tracy killed Mysterious. I guess it's possible for a small girl to lift a dead body up if she used a stage lift. Is it possible? Could Tracy really have? If Tracy did use a stage lift, I think she must have used stage lift number two. Well, I was on stage for the entire show, by the way. Wait, that's it? That's it. Uh, I didn't see anything glaring there, except maybe the part about stage number two. You were on stage the whole time, and you're sure about that? I think we're sure about that, aren't we? I don't think I saw much footage where she wasn't on stage. We could look at it again, though. There's no question. The entire audience could testify to that fact. What's more, she is shown clearly in the TV show footage as well. I couldn't possibly have killed Mysterious. Not little old me. Ah, oh, she did it, didn't she? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Therefore, the only person who could have killed the victim under stage is the accused. Furthermore, by using a stage lift, even a petite young lady could have raised the body up to the stage without difficulty. Yes, but then how would she have shoved it in the coffin? That would have been a terrible thing on itself. Shove a whole dead body, like with all its frickin' ragdolling in there? I don't know about that. You've gotta be kidding me. Very well. The defense may now cross examine on the witness. Oh, I'm going to. And I'm gonna enjoy every second of it because she's so cute. Even though she's a bitch. Oh well. This is just the, this is the ultimate trial of hot people being bad. Right, okay. I really can't believe that Tracy killed Mysterious. Well, tell me more about that then. You said you're a huge fan of Trucy's, isn't that right? Oh my gosh, yes! I even became a magician because I wanted to be just like her. The first time I saw her, she was performing at the Wonder Bar. She was only in junior high back then, but she got up on stage with tons of confidence. And then, she proceeded to win my heart with her astonishing tricks and winning smile. Hmm, she certainly sounds like she means all of that. Yeah, but she's an actress, don't forget. She's an entertainer. So finally being able to perform with her must have been quite a treat for you, right? Oh yes! After all, it was my chance to have her see me. Not just as a fan, but as a fellow magician. Oh, little bunny! Yay! There he goes! <laughs> But then that horrible accident happened. It was not an accident. It was murder. Witness, please explain if you would. How a small young woman such as Trucy Wright could have raised the body? Man. I guess it's possible for a small girl to lift a dead body up if she used a stage lift. Hold it. Wait a minute now. Tell me more about that. What makes you think it would be possible? It's not like you tried it out yourself. Right? Well, um... Actually, we did try it out for ourselves. You did? Wait, what do you mean? What does he- wait, what does he mean by that? Detective Sky, if you would. Oh. So, that's why you made me do that. Detective Sky, what did he have you do? The prosecutor asked me to try raising one of the male police officers with the stage lift without a single word of explanation as to why he was making me do it. You're kidding. Ooh, he's crafty. It's as if you really can foresee all of our counter-arguments. So, do you not underestimate this humble servant of the Holy Mother? He's pretty smart, right? You gotta give it to him for that. More like haughty. Well, I guess that means Trucy could have lifted the dead body up. Does that mean... Hmm. Is it possible could Trucy really have? I don't know if this is like a pressworthy statement, but you know how I do. Is what possible? Could Trucy really have what, Miss Defem? Please finish your sentence. Uh, well, I. Uh... Don't try to beat around the bush. Come right out and say it. <laughs> Guys, oh my god. Why not tell this court what you really believe? Would I really believe? Well, of course I... Of course I don't believe Trucy could ever commit murder. Such an amazing and wonderful magician would never do such a thing. But, taking all the facts into account, what else can I think? 
I know of at least three other unflattering things you really think about, Trucy. What is the problem? I'm just having a conversation. How can you attack this girl when she's obviously speaking with reserve? There is such a thing as reading between the lines, Mr. Justice. It's sad how the youth of today lack the ability to do such a basic thing. All right, Boomer, just keep your seat. Man, we got in trouble. That sucks. Wait, no! <laughs> Looking at me like that isn't going to help me stick my foot in my mouth, bless your honor. Witness, please describe what the accused might have used to lift the dead body. All right. All right, here we go. If Tracy did use stage lift, I think she must have used stage lift too. Hold it. Why is that? Tell me more. Stage lift two? All right, that's that one over there. Wait, I thought she couldn't use that though. I thought that one was stuck. You mean the stage lift shown here on the left? Is that the one? That's right, with a stage lift. I think even a small girl could easily lift a dead body up to the stage. And so that makes her the murderer, in your opinion? Well, of course not. I believe in Trucy. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of hers. Oh, brother. How long is she going to keep this act up? Defense, what position was stage lift number two in after the show? Let's see. If I recall, it was in the fully raised position. Ah! Oh, they're saying that's how it got stuck she did that? And the reason why it was fully raised? I bet you're fully raised. If not, I'll figure a way. It's because the accused used it to lift the victim's body. Wouldn't you agree? Ugh. Shoot, that does look bad. Feel free to slowly mull it over while you roast over the flames of hell, you evil red pepper. So now I'm also evil? Dr. Evil? Wait, okay, so I was on stage for the entire show, by the way. Hold it. We haven't seen anything yet that we can really do. You didn't have a single spare moment to slip down to the understage passage? Huh? Don't tell me you suspect me now. I'm just trying to do my job by fully examining your alibi. Depending on how solid it is, I might have to suspect you, yes. You gotta be kidding me! Like, don't spit on my head and tell me it's raining, lawyer boy! I'm right here in the footage! Are you too, like, much of an idiot to see? Whoa, 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 okay, she changed her tune very quickly. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Fame? Are you feeling alright? You seem suddenly different. Oh, she's mad. Oh, um, oops. Where did that come from, right? Oh my, I seemed to have snapped there for a second, didn't I? Haha. <laughs> You didn't just snap. You broke character just now. In any case, I was on stage the whole time performing magic. I mean, you saw me in the footage, right? My dazzling and flawless performance. Flawless? That's odd considering what you told me. Ooh, that's right. She told us she told us that she fucked up. You said that you'd made a mistake with where you positioned Mr. Hat. <sighs> Mr. Fame, to what is this defense referring? Well, I made a little mistake on stage. I was in charge of operating Mr. Hat, you see. According to the script, I was supposed to place him to the left of the coffin. But I flubbed it up and made him stand to the right of the coffin instead. And because of that mistake, Trucy had to move the stage lifts around. I feel really bad about messing Trucy up like that with my goal. <laughs> oh dear, what do we, what do we, wait, we haven't even, we haven't busted anything open in that yet, can we? Damn it, I don't see any inconsistencies in her testimony. Wait, shit, what do we do? <laughs> now, do you know who the real killer is? Come on, Gramps, don't just sit there like, hand down your ruling, pronto. Do it quick, before you kill over up there. I, I beg your pardon? Ma'am, in any other court, that would have got your ass thrown right the fuck out in contempt. Oops, oh, what's gotten into me? I am so sorry. I give her another five minutes before she tears off that mask. I know. Well, Defense? 
Are you ready to let it all go now? No, not really. Of course not. I'll never give up. I see. I suppose this too is fate. Oh, the, oh. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it kind of is. The sacred scriptures of Kuranism describe a variety of hells for the damned. Is this the right time to be talking about this? For someone like you, who struggles ceaselessly against his fate? Papul Bolzig seems most appropriate. People boil- what? Oh wait, that's Kuranese. What sort of terrible place is Papul Bolzig? A place where the more one struggles, the further one falls into the abyss. At the bottom of the abyss, a ferocious beast awaits. Think of it as something akin to an antlion sand pit trap. Oh, there's one of those in my backyard. Wow, Kernest Hell is closer to home than I thought. Now then. It would appear that the witness's testimony supports the prosecution's claims. Wait a minute, but we haven't even done anything yet. That the defendant is the only one who could have killed the victim under stage. Ugh, how are we supposed to get out of this jam? I don't know. Hey, Apollo, if you can't find any contradictions, maybe it's time to use analytical psychology. Oh shoot, are we doing a mood matrix? You mean... I heard some discord in Bonnie's voice while she was testifying. Oh, just a little? I think we think we heard a lot. See? Widget is picking up the noise in her heart, too. Oh, shit. Do I remember how to do this? I think I do. That's right. Athena can hear things others can't with her super sensitive hearing. She can hear the emotions people suppress as a kind of noise or discord in their voices. God, I hope I remember how to do this. All right, Athena. Let's give it a try. You got it. Hold it. Hold it is right. Let's freaking go. All right. Oh, I'm excited. I, hopefully they'll give me a tutorial. I mean, I don't think I need a tutorial, but... Your Honor, I'm afraid that our witness, Miss Defam, is suffering under terrible traumatic stress due to this horrible incident. She is? Yes. But with that terrible death on stage, and her beloved Tracy getting arrested, she's under awful strain and shock. In fact, I don't know how much more she can take before she's unfit to testify. What? Oh, I've heard of that. What is it called? Postal stress disorder, right? It's where a person becomes uncontrollably angry, I think. I read about it somewhere. It's going postal, Your Honor. This is PTSD. Oh my. So that's why the witness acts so hostile at times, as if she were a different person. Yes, and I think her condition is clouding her memory of the incident. Therefore, I suggest a short therapy session for the witness. Who's holding it? Huh? Therapy? Like, you don't know the first thing about a magician's mental strength. I've risked my life jumping through rings of fire and having my body sawn in half. Oopsie. Oh boy, I have to watch my temper, don't I? <laughs> I don't know how many times is that bunny gonna get lost. Ma'am, you are definitely needing some help. Miss Sykes, please do whatever you can to help this unfortunate young lady. <laughs> and what exactly is this child planning to do, Mr. Justice? With her super sensitive hearing, Miss Sykes can hear a witness's true emotions. Simply from tone and inflection, she can tell exactly what a person is feeling. I can even pick out feelings that a witness is trying to suppress or hide. Widget projects the emotions I hear onto the mood matrix where I can analyze them. It sounds like some sort of spurious devilry. Though I find it hard to believe, I must ask. How do emotions constitute evidence? Hmm. Well, I won't say that emotions can be taken as evidence, per se. I have seen how instrumental Miss Sykes' work has been in cracking a case. Therefore, I wholly support giving it a try. Yeah! We got the judge on our side! Perfect! I see. If you are in favor of it, Your Honor, then I have no objections. Even this mere monk can see that something disturbs the witness. Huh. I'll disturb you! Oh, thank you for understanding, Prosecutor Sedmati. Well, you're best friends now, eh? 
thick as thieves. Apollo, you remember how to conduct the therapy session, right? I think so. You want me to lead the session? Of course. You're the lead on this case, after all. I think I remember how to do it. Fair enough, but do I need a refresher? No, I think you just... You look through all the emotions and that you you pick the ones that aren't matching. Figure it out. If they, oh, this might be the worst decision I ever made. If I mess up bad, you can all be like, geez, Luca, why didn't you do the tutorial? I think I still remember from last time, so let's get right into it. Okie dokie. You ready, Widget? Let's do this. Here we go. All right. Back in business, the team. Okay. What are we going to pick up here? Let's see. Right, we've got our little guys. I guess Trucy is the one who killed Mysterious. Okay, so sadness. Even she could move the body with the lift. Sadness. I was on stage at the time. Nothing. There's nothing here. Okay. But that terrible mistake. Some sadness and a lot of surprise, okay? My stupid flub caused Trucy so much trouble, okay? I feel so bad about it. Um, ma'am? <laughs> Wait, if you feel so bad about it, then why are you so damn happy? Oh, it's gotta be that. That was the only glaring thing I saw. I mean, for the first one, they'll probably give you a very easy one, right? So that you can easily point it out that that's the right thing to say. Okay, so I look for inconsistencies between her testimony and her emotions, right? That's right. Like if she says, I was so happy when the sad marker is lit up. Or if the sad marker doesn't react even though she says she was feeling down. When you find an unexpected emotion, go ahead and pinpoint it. Okay, I'll give it a try. It's gotta be that last one at least. All right, so blah, 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 and this one. This for sure, I feel so bad about it. Look at that happy just sitting there looking you right in the face. So I'm gonna pinpoint the happy. That's how it works. I have to say, Mr. Femme, you certainly are a strange one. Even though you said I feel so bad about it, it seems you were feeling happy about it. No. Can't hide that, can you? Oh, you're sweating. Oh, it hit her on the head. Oh, no. I think I can guess why you were feeling happy. It must be because... It was Trucy's big debut, you made a state mistake. Well, if she would be happy about anything, it would be because she messed Trucy up, right? Surely. Picking that one. I think you were happy because you messed the defendant up. <sighs> I'm right, aren't I? You, you gotta be kidding me. Why would I be happy I messed Trucy up? I'm a big fan of hers. Because we saw you. I hate her. I loathe her. I can't stand that Trucy right. Just because she's a little good at magic, she thinks she's all that. So this is exactly what that sniveling brat deserves. Yep, we did see that. We saw how you said you hated Trucy right? How you were glad she was in trouble. And even how it was what she deserved. Ouch! It looks like I hit the bunny on the head, so to speak. Oh, what's she gonna do? She's gonna freak out. <sighs> oh, only to 50? Okay, no, that does happen. She's not done yet. Apollo, the noise level dropped. Now if we could get it down to zero. Well, Miss Defem, are you ready to confess how you really feel? What? What? What do you mean? I'm Bunny, the sweet, cute little bunny. I'm a rookie magician working hard just to be like my idol, Trucy. That's the character I'm supposed to be. Girl, you are all over the place. Keep that up, Miss Defam, and you're gonna have a mental breakdown. Just let yourself be who you really are. Who I really am? The two sides of you are fighting with each other and doing you psychic harm. I can hear them. Two distinct voices battling inside you. Sh shut your pie hole, you know nothing, know it all. Oof. I mean, you mustn't say things like that or I might get flustered. Mr. Femme, how long do you insist on maintaining this wolf in sheep's clothing act? 
We can't end this therapy session until you get real with us. Set the wild beast inside you free. Go do it, girl. You got two wolves inside you. Oh shit, she angry. Boy, they really up the animation in this. This is insane. I love it. Is she gonna freak? Oh, she's gonna freak out. <laughs> there she is. I love her little bounce. It's amazing. It's incredible. Don't make me laugh. You don't know a dang thing about me. You wanna see who I really am? Fine. Take a good look. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. Um, I think we're gonna do this in the next one. There's, there's another mood matrix for sure, which I feel like we could get through, but that's whatever that is, is probably gonna open all of this right now. And I would like to have that all in the same place. So thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry, I'm gonna try not to do the cliffhangers in the court, but sometimes you just can't help it. Um, we're gonna find out who she really is and I have a sneaking suspicion it's bad. <laughs> it's bad or probably something we don't expect, one or the other. And uh, I can't wait to see it. And I hope you guys are feeling the same way. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon in the next episode. Toodaloo.